What's good, Grey Gang? In today's video, we're heading down to the river, and for the next 24 hours, I'm only gonna be eating what I catch from the river. The river has some pretty epic fish in it, and I'm talking everything from bluegill to smallmouth bass, big old catfish, and even musky, which looks like this, and looks like it can easily bite your foot off. And if we're lucky, that might just happen here today. My 24-hour clock starts right now. It's currently midday, and we're gonna be going after some bluegill. Something light, nothing heavy. I'm telling you right now, I do not even remember the last time I've used this guy. Let's head down to the river. A long the bank would probably be better, but just whatever you can cast and do. It's some kind of big bass. I just don't know what kind. It's either a smallmouth or a spotted bass. Fighting pretty good for whatever it is. Oh, it's a catfish. That's perfect. Yeah. I did not expect to catch a catfish, but I will 100% take it. Come up here. Don't, don't suck me. Don't suck me. Boom. These things are supposed to be on nest right now. What are they doing out here? Huh? Huh? What are you doing out here, buddy? I was expecting to catch bluegill out here, but I mean, the catfish. Heck yeah, I'll take it. Oh, I'm hung up. What about that? Oh, gosh. All right, we'll just leave that however it to be. He's not huge, but definitely good size to eat. So we're going to keep him. Now I'm going to pull out the KG fanny pack because I did just break off in there. And I'll pull something out to catch some more fish. I think what I'm going to do is just come in here and pull out something about like that. Put one of those grubs on there. We should be good to go. And boom, we have a super effective, super tiny, but this bait literally should catch everything. Right now we just got some rocks over there. Kind of a pretty epic spot. Just gonna toss it over, reel it back slow, and you know, hopefully we catch more fish. Oh, there's another fish. What is this one gonna be? Oh, it's a little bass. I think this one's probably too little to eat, though. Yeah. Yeah, he's a little small for a bass. This is a potted bass, though. This, ooh, ooh. Well, fish is up. Oh, there was my rod. We got a fish in the boat. Fish in the boat. Where'd he go? He's in my pants. I got it. Ooh. Yep, just a tiny little spotted bass. He been eating good, though. See you there, brother. Have a good day. Catfish is right there. How you doing, Mr. Catfish? Oink, 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 oink. All right, guys, long story short, wasn't exactly the most productive uh, float out here today, but we're not going back empty-handed. We are going back with a catfish named Jerry. But now, just like earlier, we had to climb up the rapids. Now, we get to float down the rapids and hope that Jerry makes it back with us because he's just going to be hanging off the side of the boat the whole time. So, everybody comment below. Good luck, Jerry, because you're going to need it. You ready? Ready. All right, the rapids start right here. Now this ain't necessarily class 10 rapids. <laughs> I'm sure it's pretty close to seven or eight, you know? Uh-oh. Hold on, jury. Hold on, jury. All right, we good so far. We made it through the first one. Just hang in there, jury. We're almost there. Oh, snap, boys. Here we go. Here we go. All right, these might not be class seven rapids. We do have white water though, and we are getting water in the boat. So this is a little bit of a rapid, you know? Oh man, my butt's wet now. All right guys, that's pretty much it. Let's get Jerry back to the house, skin him up, and then let's cook him up. All right, so now we're back at the homestead. We're getting Jerry lined up. PG uh, filet knife, you already know. And then we're actually gonna take the skin off. We're gonna start with a cut right here, kind of go down its spine. <laughs> We come right in here and we cut those rib bones out unless you want to eat the rib bones but it's just rib bones you probably don't want to eat it so. pretty much that's what we got i'll tell you right now i'm not the best scanner in the world but what it's going to take is just a lot of practice so now we get to train on the other side and do the same exact thing and try to improve on it wait there we go not bad not bad that's not terrible now to cook up this catfish we're going pretty simple with a basic fish fry 
Oh yeah. We start by pouring out some flour and adding some seasoning to it. I'm using Ace First Cast Seasoning because it's the best thing I've ever had in my entire life on catfish. Then we're going to take the catfish fillets, roll them around in the flour until they're coated pretty good. After that, we're going to take some oil, put it in a pot or pan, whatever your preference, deep enough to where we're going to be able to deep fry this fish. After a few minutes and the oil gets hot, we're going to practice my favorite fishing method, catch and release into a pot of oil. Now with fish, it really don't take that long. I think it took maybe five minutes and it was ready. But once it looked like it was done, I went ahead, pulled it out, set it out on a plate, and our fish is good, ready to go. That's pretty much it. It's time to eat jury. All right, jury looking a whole lot different now, huh? Yeah. Not gonna lie though, for a tiny catfish like Jerry, that's kind of a lot of meat. Like I, I was honestly thinking there for a little bit, I was gonna have to go catch some hush puppies off camera, if you know what I mean. Hmm. So far, first impressions, jury don't taste that much. I don't think I put enough of Ace's seasoning on there. Let's try it with ketchup. Let's try it with ketchup. Ketchup's really good. All right, ketchup definitely helps a little bit. Anyways, guys, it's only about two o'clock right now, so it's right in the middle of the day. We still have plenty enough time to catch us some dinner and figure out what we're gonna do in the morning. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat the rest of jury, and we'll get right out there and we'll start doing something. All right, welcome back to the river. Here's the thing, guys. I'm gonna be honest. It's been about an hour since I ate that catfish. I'm still hungry, okay? So right here, right now, we ain't got the kayak. We ain't got the bathtub. We got my Crocs, and uh, we're just gonna be walking around the bank. Yeah, we're, we're gonna we're gonna have to make something happen because one tiny catfish ain't gonna cut it. I think I'm gonna start off with this whopper plopper. You can look at the top and the sides. I've caught so many fish on this. Like, it's my favorite bait. It's gotta be. Wish us luck. I guess wish me luck. I'm the only one here. There's a fish. No way. No way. No way. No way. No way. No! All right, then. I mean, that ain't a fish, but actually, I have an idea with this. I'm going to keep this. I may not have goldfish, but at least I have gold, golden whales. I don't know, man. There's only a dollar. I will say the random half-burnt floating dollar bill in the river came in clutch. Anyways, the golden whales are good, but I can't survive the next 18 hours on these things. I gotta start figuring something out pretty quick. And as soon as I swallow the rest of the box, that's exactly what we're gonna do. All right, currently the catfish are kind of on nest, which means they're kind of spawning, which means they're not necessarily gonna bite like crazy. However, you gotta keep in mind, not every single catfish goes on nest at the same time. Plus in the river, there's a pretty good chance at a snapping turtle or even a soft shell turtle. Boom. Cane pole. Now I know what you're saying. Kendall, dude, what are you going to use for bait? Well, I just found this in the freezer the other day, and I think it's some bait I used in the ocean about two years ago. We have some hot dogs. Those are nasty. But here's what I actually want to use. Injured bait fish? I don't know. They're, yeah, they look pretty injured to me. They look dead. Let's build these cane poles, then we're heading down to the river. All right, we made it. Now we just gotta make it happen. All right, let's get the bait, let's roll. Oh yeah, look at that. That water right there ain't moving at all. Perfect spot for a little catfish line. All right, y'all stay right there. I'm gonna walk over here and bait this up. Let's get one of these fish. There we go. There we go, I guess. It's probably about as good as it can get. Just gonna toss it out like that. And with this cane pole. Mm. We'll try it and see what happens. All right, guys, my big idea was that I'm gonna come out here in the river. Now, I don't know if you can see it. You definitely can't, but now you can. All right, we're in the river at night, which might be a really bad idea. But I had an idea. What if we could come out here and catch some frogs? I don't know. I mean, do frogs live in rivers? <laughs> 
I don't know, but I figured it worth a shot. This might be a bad idea. I don't know yet. We're here with Noah. We're in the bathtub, and then we have your dad out here as our motor. One way or another, this is going to be pretty epic. I'm just going to turn my big light on. We're just going to go down the bank and look for some eyes. We might get lucky and get us a frog right here. All right, your dad, you ready to put some work in? Let's get it, boy. There we go. Ah! Now, a lot of these eyes you might be seeing are actually those right there. See, you can even see its eyes shining right there. That's why if you're looking for frogs, you gotta look for two eyes spread apart a pretty good amount. Because a lot of those shiny eyes you see over there, they're not frogs, they're just big spiders, so. I just spotted the first frog, we're moving in. I actually seen two of them, so this might be all right. Either way, KG Frog Gig is getting unsheathed. Oh, right there he is, right there he is. See, zoom in on it, zoom in on it. See him right there? Ah, he's a small one. I don't know if he's a bullfrog, but he's definitely too small either way. Yeah, he's too small to eat for sure. I mean, we found a frog, wrong kind of frog, wrong size of frog. Let's check this other one up here. It looked bigger, but it still may not be as big as we need. There he is, there he is, that's a bullfrog. See him right there? That's a bullfrog, but once again, too small, man. We're on the right track though. We seen a bullfrog. All right guys, turns out whenever your stomach starts growling, your morals start to change a little bit. We're going back and we're getting that frog. All right boys, here we go. As long as he don't jump, I think we're gonna get him. We got him with one bar frog gig initiated. Let's see if I can get that barb out. There we go, baby. <laughs> we stinking go, baby. We got a stinking frog. Heck yeah. Now, literally 100 out of 100 times, I would have not gigged this frog because he's too small. But since this is kind of a survival video, we're going to take this inside. We're going to cook it up and see just how much meat you do get off a frog this big. Because uh, I'll be honest, guys, I've never actually cooked a frog this small. So I don't really know. I'll be honest, I don't know if it's a good idea to eat a frog this small, but I guess we're gonna find out. You know, I will say, there's actually more meat on there than I was expecting. Oh yeah, this is actually, it's actually kinda good. Well, I ain't yet. Oh, heck yeah. Uh, 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 it's a little hot. This is actually a pretty good amount of meat. I definitely underestimated how much food we'd get off that little frog. Hmm, it's crazy. All right, let's go see what we got. You look at it, just since yesterday, the water's cleared up and even went down quite a bit, so. I don't really know if it's good or bad, normal, don't matter. Right there's our cane pole, though. I don't reckon not a thing's on it, nothing on it, so. I don't know. Let's check the other two. I'm at the second one. I just went and checked it. I forgot to film it, but uh, we didn't get anything. On to the third one. Guys, I just saw him. I just saw him. He's over here. We got one. Hey, oh, he's he's right there. He's right there. He's not even buried up yet. All right, boom. We got a turtle, but I have bad news. For some reason, although I knew there was a pretty good chance I could catch a turtle, I didn't exactly bring anything to bring a turtle back home. And if you know anything about turtles, you don't exactly kill them right now because how are you even supposed to do that? You take them home alive and then kill them. The good thing about the turtle is that we have a little bit of time. Not enough time to go back home, but a little bit of time to make up a ratchet game plan. But I'll tell you what, we're on the river. Let me just look for something. I might find a random bag or something. Let's see, rock, 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 rock. Okay, there's no bags here. I have an idea. I have an idea. It's very ratchet. In fact, it is a ratchet. A ratchet strap. <laughs> All right, hear me out, hear me out. What if I strap it here, put the turtle here, okay, wrap this thing around him, and then just stink and ratchet him right down into this corner. That's probably a terrible idea, but we're going to try it. All right, we're pulling him up right here. Oh, gosh, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and pull out the cane pole. That way I have a little bit of a secondary backup if he can stay hooked. Let's just walk him down the bank right here and get him closer to the rig. Come on, turtle. Come on, turtle. All right, here we go. This is it. Whatever's going to happen is going to happen right here. We ain't got much time to think about it. All right, perfect, perfect. He's on his belly. Grab him. Oh, oh gosh. They're digging into me, but... Stop. Oh, I have an idea. Won't be good for you. It'll be good for me. What if we ratchet strap you upside down? I don't know if this is gonna work too good. I've never ratchet strapped a turtle before. Sit still, sit still, sit still. All right, ratchet, 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 ratchet. No way. I think this just worked. I think we just ratchet strapped a turtle. Dude. Oh. 
Look at it. We sneaking rats just strapped a turtle. All right, we made it. All right, here's the plan. We are gonna be skinning up and eating that turtle right here in a second. But first, I'm gonna go get a haircut because my mom says I look shaggy. See you in two hours. All right, guys, I am back and my hair is cut. Awesome. Here's the turtle. He's still just chilling in here right now, but I went ahead and got all the stuff I need to clean this turtle. This are my tools. First thing though, we got the new KG pliers. Then I have a fillet knife. Then I have the KG survival knife. This is a really strong knife, but it's also super sharp. So this will do a lot of the harder work for me. And then I have big channel locks up there. This is gonna be the way I kill it. Uh, yeah, there's that. Here we go. I'll dump him out and then we'll work with him from there. You may look at his little head and say, oh, well, you're safe now. No, you're not. He can still bite on, and he ain't letting go. So now for the hard part. Here we go. All right, Mammy, tell him what we're doing. We're fixing to fry a turtle. That's right. Right here's some of the meat we got. This ain't all over. We're saving a few pieces for later. But we got the neck, we got the tail, and we have its two front legs. Mamie, how are we gonna be cooking this? We're gonna be frying it. That's exactly right, correct. All right, Mamie, step one, what I need to do? Got the turtle laying out there? Put the turtle in the bag, and then you uh, put your salt and your pepper over it. We learned from last time with the frogs, they didn't exactly taste like anything. So we're gonna use a whole lot more salt and a whole lot more pepper. Now we put the flour, right? Yeah. All right. How much of that? Good bit? Add to depth. All right, all right, all right. Now we'll go ahead and be hooking up the pan, getting it hot. Now just clamp shake it together it and shake it up. All right, what's yeah. up? But with this, we're just trying to what? Get it everywhere? Yeah. All right, I got that. Massage it and work it into all the cracks and crevices. Yeah. How's that look? That looks pretty good. Does it? Yeah. It's packed in there pretty all right. Huh? Here, you do some. Yeah, put this, put her to work, son. Now, should I go straight into here? Yeah. Straight sure. from there into there? Uh, straight into the skillet. All right, I heard that. Set it in there. This right here is the turtle neck. That's my favorite part. I like it the best by a lot. So that's my piece, all right? Okay. Good, all right. And the legs is my piece. All right, that'll work. All right, here is what Mamie has instructed me to build. Looking pretty good, honestly. What do you think it's gonna taste like? Ain't they like seven different meats in yeah. a turtle? I ain't I had done this in quite a while. I forgot. You can't taste the pepper this time. You ain't got no pastry. That's right, we put it in there. <laughs> Mammy. Mammy, don't waste no time when digging into turtle. Initial thoughts, what do you think it looks like? This is a deck, ain't it? No, that's the tail. Tail? Yeah. See how it works, how it acts. It's kind of tough. It is tough, ain't it? Must be an old turtle. It was a big one. Uh-oh. How is it? Good? It's good. All right, all right, I'll try it. Mm, very peppery. Overall, what you give it? A squirrel. All right, Mamie would give it a squirrel out of 10. Sounds good to me. Click right over here to watch another video where I survived only with what I killed for 24 hours. Almost died, had to eat roadkill. Or right over here for cheap versus expensive frog eating, where Mamie also helped us cook those frogs. Mm -hmm.